Follow my cheap profession on the key possession. I'm OD aggressive when I run the rock. See me flexing in the winning section. If they press a bombing on them off the top, slump a hater, leave them in the field. Or I'm in the kitchen whipping up a dot. Took it from the bottom to the top. Certified man and money shot. Toss a bullet, hit you in the chest, and send a burn across your face from mind to slot. Please don't test them, I bring heat and brush it. Have my hit or brush, you move you off the spot. Slump a hater, leave them in the field. Or I'm in the kitchen whipping up a dot. Took it from the bottom to the top. Certified man and money shot. If you guys are looking for fast, cheap, reliable coins for your college football 25 team, check out my coin sponsors at MMOXP and use discount code MONEYSHOT for 5% off your order. Link in the description below. The champ is here! Welcome back, Money Team. This is Mad Money Shot, sniffing out the college cheese as always. In today's video, I'm going to bring you guys a brand new play that was just added to the game a couple days ago. If you guys aren't aware, about five days ago, there was a title update on September 19th that was pretty substantial as they put in a lot of new plays, including some plays in my favorite formation, the 3 3 Mint or the 3 3 Odd, whatever you like to call it because it has multiple names. But I'm going to show you guys just how good this play is because typically when EA puts something new into the game, it's typically kind of broken. But before I do, as always, if if you guys want to see more videos like this please make sure to be a subscriber hit the like button let me know in the comment section i'm in the playoffs today so i don't want to use byu or texas state which is teams i just kind of mess around with we're trying to win the championship so i want to make sure i'm using the best team with the best playbooks possible and i feel like georgia has the best offensive and defensive playbooks in the game as i already broke down both so if you guys need more help or more money plays you can download any of my ebooks instantly simply click the links in the description or the top pin comment and in today's game we have a real life preview of georgia versus alabama saturday night's big game let me in the comment section who you guys think is going to win me personally i'm probably going to go with alabama because georgia was not very impressive in their one point victory over kentucky I start this game out on defense, and of course, I'm going to use my favorite defense in the entire game, the 3 3 Mint, also known as the 3 3 Odd. The only reason I stopped making videos about it is because I probably made like four or five videos on it so far. And I thought you guys might be getting tired of the same old content, but to me, this is still the best defense in the game. The only thing is, though, I'm going to start this game off using the exact same defense that I used to use in the Cover 3 match. But this is not the defense that today's video is about. This is just the defense that I'm used to using, as I'm actually going to be switching over to the brand new Cover 3 Mabel concept that EA put out in the patch a couple days ago, but I'm going to be doing that later in the video. As I start this game out trying to stop this guy but having a very difficult time. As it feels like I've made Cover 3 Matt so popular that everybody has a plan for it. On this first play, you can see here he uses a clear out route with a drag to hit the running back on a Texas route, which is going to be the exact same concept that he uses later when I switch defenses, and you're going to notice that the new defense does a much better job with it. Now this guy runs meta on both sides of the ball. On offense, he's in the gun bunch TE, and he's mostly killing me with short stuff as I noticed pretty quickly that the flats are just always there no matter what he's calling as I was probably supposed to be covering that route as you can see here I'm using the, the linebacker here and that's probably my responsibility as I can't even get this guy into a third down as he either converts on first down every single time or I get into a second and short and then he converts after that I do manage to get a sack to push him back into third and 14 but that's none of my doing as he breaks containment on the next play with Jalen Milrow and he beats me over the top as I noticed right away that this particular zone coverage just doesn't have enough flat coverage to cover both the short and the intermediate routes. As my opponent passes the ball on me on every single play before punching it on the ground, and I realize I'm going to have to come up with a brand new game plan already. And I know I'm probably going to have to score every time I have the ball. So the reason I chose this team is because I love their offensive playbook. As I'm still using the Gun Deuce Close, which is another offense that I broke down in a previous video. So if you guys want to see more, I will have links in the description as well as on screen at the end of the video. So stick around for that. Some of my favorite plays in this offense is this halfback swing play here. Because this is an absolute cheat code. As the blocking on the right side basically acts like a one-man screen. And this running back is pretty much money against just about any any single defense as he runs the mid blitz which is once again another meta defense and i almost take it to the house if i just had a little bit more speed recently when i was updating my ebooks after the last patch though i noticed that there's another play called the curls lead swing out of the gun normal y off that does the exact same thing so if my opponent starts to pick up on that last play i like to switch over to this formation and basically do the exact same thing as you'll notice here the running back is wide open once again and we have another big play 
And I know this is a defensive video, but I'm going to give you guys a one-play touchdown out of this formation from the double dig, as all you have to do is make sure you flip this play to the open side of the field so that this route has all the space that it needs. Then you just want to make sure that he's the only receiver on that side of the field. So I'm going to motion this guy across, and you can see it carries across the defender with him, giving me immediate outside leverage from the safety who's supposed to be in coverage. Break yourself, fool! Back on defense, I'm still not sure if I'm the one messing up the cover three matching principles. So on the next play, I quickly switch over to a defensive tackle just to see if the cover three matching principles will stop his offense on their own. And surely enough, they match the flat, but they don't match the curl flat area. So the intermediate routes are still getting open, letting me know that I just don't have enough flat zone coverage to cover both. Now, there are a few adjustments I can make while still sticking with his defense and try to stop this guy. Number one is basically using a Mabel concept which for this defense all I have to do is play over the top and it'll turn this seam flat into a curl flat while I could also turn this outside linebacker slash defensive end into a hard flat and basically try to run a Mabel to take away this outside high low that he's constantly getting away with. But this is not the type of defense I like to run especially against a look like this where there's a slot receiver who could easily go right up the cover three seam since my safety's on the other side of the field. That's one of the best things about matching cover three is they have seam flats that will typically man match if these receivers try to run routes up the Scene. And luckily for me, he gets a penalty for making too many adjustments and I get to change my mind on the very next play. The other option that I have is to run a blitz and try to get to the quarterback before he can pass the ball away. So I call a matching cover three blitz and make no adjustments to the coverage. And you can see on the very next play, he quickly tries to attack that very scene that I was worried about. Gotcha, bitch. And we click on and get an interception. So basically what I need is a defense that will still protect those scenes, but will also have a high low defense on the outside. Back on offense though, this guy learns very quickly and the second I make this motion across, he's going to use or somebody in that area to make sure that I don't get that corner out anymore. Oh, you motherfuckers. <laughs> okay. So I basically put the motion receiver in a zig and throw it to him on the short side of the field to get a first down. And from here now, I'm just trying to spread him out and basically beat him in the flats. As you can see on the next play, we get an easy catch and run outside. And I almost get in the field goal range on the very next play. I try to do it again on the next play though, and now he's putting these outside linebackers in the flats. Surprise, motherfucker. Which basically means that I'm bagged. <laughs> As he gets me for the sack, pushing me back to third and forever. <laughs> and now with only 12 seconds left before half, I basically just chuck it up to try to get something essentially ending the half. I get the ball to start the second half. God damn, I thought EA said they patched that. As he locks me up again and I gotta punt the ball away from my own end zone. And at this point, I'm getting pretty pissed off at how this cheesy fucker's playing. So on the next play, I use her about half his offense as he has three receivers in the area and I pick the right one. Fuck you! As we're going the other way with an interception to get back to midfield. But we still have to figure out something we can do on offense against this defense. I try to run the ball through it since there's no second level linebackers. Nope. Then I try to throw over it thinking I get this tight end over the top. Nope. But then on third 19, I remember that I put out a video on how to completely destroy this coverage out of the gun tray open offset. But I want to make sure that I have the right receiver in the right spot before I run this play. So I call a timeout because it feels like the game could be on the line here if I don't make this play work. And I look to see which one of my receivers has takeoff as this is going to be the best ability to use on a play like this. Then when I get back, I put him into the home run spot, which is going to be the slot receiver position here. The play itself is the shock H option. And I already made a video about how this play can completely destroy cover zero as long you make one single adjustment. Just make sure to flip this play to the open side of the field. I give myself a slanting check down on the back side, but all you gotta do is custom stem this RB route all the way up to about 10 or 15 yards before it breaks, and you'll see how he'll run away from the defender every single time. Break yourself, fool! As we take the lead 14 to 7. Now we gotta get a stop, which hasn't been easy all day. I keep coming out in the same overload blitz three and he keeps throwing underneath my cover three to get first downs. Before he takes off with Jalen Milrow and I realize that the blitz isn't even getting home. So I try a new blitz, a different cover three, where this time I have the backside cornerback coming off the edge. And it does work a little bit better, but he still picks up eight yards. So I decide what the hell and try this new coverage to cover three Mabel Buzz. As they literally said in the patch that this is best against bunch and three wide receiver sets to one side. So we might as well give it a try. I don't want to mess with the coverage itself. So I decide to use one of the defensive ends that I typically use is on a QB contain. So I can see how the coverage reacts on its own. Oh, you almost had it. And sure enough, we almost got an interception on the very first play. As this was the first defense to play that dragging tight end the entire game. As you can see on this side-by-side -side look here from just a few plays earlier where I was using that tight end on the right side of the screen. But on the left side of the screen, the hook zone dropped down and took it away by itself. I knew right away that I was on to something. So on the 
the next play, the setup is simple. All I'm going to do is spread the defensive line, which is D-pad to the left and up. And then I'm going to use this outside linebacker who's on a blitz angle and bring him over the middle so I don't mess up any of the matching principles since I don't necessarily understand how they work yet. And since it's third and two, I decide to stand about eight yards back to try to shoot the gap as well as pinch the defensive line to make sure that he doesn't have any run space inside. And you can see how these QB contains still do a very good job of maintaining that edge outside as we get the stop. He goes for it on fourth and two and since he couldn't pass or run, he tries a screen instead and I'm the only one there as we sniff it out. But look at what just happened there. As he went down the field on us with no problem in our normal cover three match. But the second I switched over to cover three buzz, we completely shut him down and didn't give up a first down. Oh, we're getting really creative on offense to try to kill some clock as he's not following this running back since he's using somewhere else. And we get a huge play to get inside a field goal range, which is pretty much all I need. As I just want to get to a two possession lead at this point as we're already late in the fourth quarter. I'm really just calling a bunch of trick plays and making sure that I don't put the ball at risk as we try to run with the quarterback to get the first down, but Carson Beck is just really slow. And even though I could probably end the game right here by going for it, I decided to play it safe and kick the field goal to take my two possession lead and put it on him to beat this defense. Back on defense, we're spreading this defensive line, not expecting much running, and he decides to run with his quarterback anyway. But since he's got to score twice, I'm going to do it the rest of the drive. As he tries to threaten that seam one more time, but it's bagged, as we should get an interception right there. On the next play, he tries to go with a screen, and I guess QB contains just do a better job of sniffing that out, as he tries screens on the next two plays, and the defensive linemen are all over at both times. <laughs> Two seconds from being on you like white on rice and a glass of milk and a paper plate in a snowstorm. As he has to try to run with Milrow before I try to cut that off and he throws it to nobody to turn the ball over on downs once again as he can't even get a first down against his defense. And now with plenty of time left in my game pretty much at hand, I decide to rub it in his face one time by letting the clock run all the way down to four seconds before punching it in to end the game. Alright, fuck you, buddy! as we really started to dominate once we switched to this defense. So that's it, that's the video. If you guys want to see more about the offensive plays that I was showing you guys in today's video, I'll have links to that popping up on screen. So just click the links. And until next time, thanks for watching, man. My shit out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like eBooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below.